Good morning. This week's word, word of encouragement comes from Matthew 6, 34. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Trouble. Each day has plenty of it, and tomorrow will usher in more. That part of the teaching, the disciples had no problem accepting. It was the do not worry part that proved trickier. In fact, the entirety of their ministry would be spent trying to understand Jesus' triumph over every kind of trouble. Jesus could have kicked off his signs and wonders with a parting of the Red Sea caliber miracle. Instead, he chose a simpler approach. He changed water into wine because it ran out. It was a relatively minor problem Jesus was asked to solve. His mother was anxious on behalf of the wedding host and wanted him to step in, so he did. Which means it was during a party that Jesus chose to reveal his glory to his disciples for the very first time. It was a public debut of triumph over trouble. In doing so, Jesus demonstrated that nothing is inconsequential. Every predicament is an opportunity for divine intervention and continued celebration. We too tend to worry about issues large and small, and Jesus cares about each one, especially because of the opportunity they present. But we have to do our part. Like Mary, we have to ask even when seemingly small matters. Otherwise, we'll read verses about not worrying and worry even more about our inability to cease worrying rather than seeking and asking so that Jesus can prove himself triumphant. Perhaps that's why he honored his mother's request. The simplicity of it represents so many kingdom principles. For example, it takes faith to surrender our worries and trade them in for kingdom seeking and Jesus trusting. When we do, he goes to work on our behalf. Of course, that doesn't mean he's literally going to turn water into wine but he's going to always do the spiritual equivalent. Work things out for good for those who love him, Romans 8, 28. Trust him with the little things, and he'll prove time and again that you can trust him with everything. And don't worry about whether or not you have the ability to cease worrying. You don't, you don't, that's the point. Your job is to seek Jesus and his righteousness. His response will be revealed more reveal more of his glory and the outcome will be your refreshed and increased faith and miraculously a whole lot less worrying thank you and have a blessed week